Hey, it's Mimi from HeyMimiGirl.com and in this video I just wanted to show you my blue manicure. I'll show you what nail polish I use to achieve this and then I just thought I'd show you just all of the blue nail polishes that I have and what those look like on. That way you can see even if this isn't your perfect blue, maybe one of these other brands are your perfect blue. What I have on here is Sally Girl nail color in this little mini 99 cent bottle and the color is called epic i love these little miniature 99 cent polishes and i kind of like the way these come because a lot of times a polish will get sticky and old before you use it up so i really like the concept that you can try a color and you'll use it up long before it starts getting sticky but this one happens to have like a, a little bit of a periwinkle type color to it and I would say that this does as well, this Revlon Gel Envy Color Stay. I like this one a lot too. This one is a slight bit lighter and a slight bit more purple to it. So let me show you those. I'm going to talk quickly about this gel polish by Sally Hansen called Blew My Mind. This is a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. This is very affordable. It's only a couple of dollars. It's called number 240 Babe Blue. And it has a very slight shimmer that you only see in the light. And it is a, like a light periwinkle blue. And then I also have this Royally Yours by L'Oreal. I've had this for about a year and it's a very pale blue. Kind of funny that they call it Royally Yours. But I just thought you might be interested in some of these paler colors uh, since it's spring and some people might want to do some spring nail art or Easter kind of colors or something, which is what I thought would look these kind of colors would look cute together. I have something on my Pinterest page, Hey Mimi DIY, that shows some of these colors with stripes of black and it makes a really cute combination. Anyway, back to the blue. So um, I also am gonna show you this, a Sinful Colors. This is Hottie and 831. And that's what I have on my accent nail. It's just one coat of this on top of the Epic by Sally Girl. And I really like that. So oh, here we go. And you can see this is really opaque. You could almost get away with one coat of this. I did do two coats. But look how pretty that is. That's just one coat. So that goes on really opaque and a beautiful color. Just a creamy opaque color that looks good in one coat. And look how pretty and creamy that is. For 99 cents, I think this is it's an awesome little nail polish. I'll probably buy a backup because I like it out of all the blues, I like this the best. Let's just do a little accent nail here with the Sinful Colors Hottie 831. So this is really, there's not a whole lot of color to it. It's just kind of like a little glittery overlay. And I'm not that much of a glittery kind of girl, but for one little accent nail, I think it'll be okay. So there you go. That's pretty. I like that. I think that's pretty for one accent nail. Let me see. This is much darker. This color stay number 540 wild card is a deeper. It's very similar, but it's deeper. So if you love the Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, which has been reformulated for some reason, I keep hearing that it has kind of a cult following and then they just decided to change the color out of the blue, which was really strange considering people loved it so much. So I think it was along these lines. So if you like the old Sally Hansen Pacific Blue, you may like this Epic, or you may like this Color Stage Gel Envy in Wild Card, which is a little bit deeper. And I really do love these Revlon Color Stay Gel Envy polishes. They really are almost a one coater. Okay, well, it's maybe not this color, is it? <laughs> but they do really do stay on for a really long time, and they say you don't have to use a base coat. However, on a color like this, I definitely would use a base coat because I wouldn't want to stain my nail. You gotta shake it up good and use it quick because they do get a little bit goopy. I bought the green and I thought those were neat together, but the green had to go back because the one that I got was very thick. So if you get one that's a little too thick, take it back because they're not all like that. But I thought about doing an accent nail in some of these Sally Hansen real nail polish stickers. I thought that would be a cute accent nail. It's just really not me to do a whole manicure of nail art kind of stuff, but I do like the look of just one accent nail. And I have discovered a way 
to use them after they've gotten brittle, how to kind of revive them. And I'll make another video about that. So the Sally Hansen color is this right here. And you can see in comparison to Revlon Gel Envy Color Stay, and I've done a review on this brand in the gray color, and I really like this. It really does wear for a very long time. And so those are very close. This, you can see that this is a little bit deeper blue. Personally, I like this one on my nails better. And it, this, these two colors together, that looked really cute. For some reason I have a hard time with cool tones. They just look too harsh on my nails. So here, this, you can see there's a little bit of shimmer to this. And this is two coats. Here's one coat, two coats, and three coats of the Sally Hansen gel polish in Blew My Mind. And then here is, this is what this looks like alone. I bought this thinking that this was gonna be a blue cup polish and I'd be able to wear this alone, but it's actually very sheer and it mostly just looks pretty on top of another color. As I like having an accent nail just for a little bit of interest, but at my age, I just feel silly if I have too much going on. I mean, blue is already a lot going on. This is the L'Oreal number 120, Royally Yours, I think that's uh, two coats of that. This is Babe Blue, number 240 in this Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear. And so that is this and this together. And then here it is next to the darker color. I thought these would look great together. We have very similar periwinkle undertones. It's a really cute color. It has a slight, very, very slight shimmer to it. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I think this is one coat of this Sally Hansen, number 240, so let me show you a second coat of that. Definitely not a one coater, so let's put this on here, and you can, in the daylight I can see a slight sparkle. So those go really well together. Here's Epic, and here is this Sally Hansen Big Blue. And then here is this Color Stay Gel Envy 440 Wild Card, and all of these that you see in combination here are also Gel Envy polishes. So that ought to cover it. Thank you for watching. If I don't have time to make video swatches of my manicures, I'll always put them on my Instagram account at heymimi underscore girl. So be sure and follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my heymimi girl YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.